Are you struggling to find good talent for your business? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the secrets of using Fiverr. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Butopedia. My name is Miss La. And before we jump into the video, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos that I post in regards to growing your lash business. For this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use Fiverr to grow your business. Now, I personally have been using Fiverr for at least six or seven years, and you can find some amazing talent on there if you follow these tips. So on my channel, Butopedia, of course, I give you tips and tricks to grow your lash business or any business for that matter. So for this video, I'm going to be telling you about Fiverr. I've been using Fiverr for a while and you can find some really good talent as long as you stick to some key tips. Um, you can get some scammers on there, but for the most part, I've had a good experience. So I just want to share with you exactly how I go about finding the best and brightest talent. So when you're using Fiverr, they will have it, um, just recently they switched, so you will have the pro sellers and then you will have, I don't want to say amateur, but you will have your sellers, sellers that will charge you a little bit less money. For the most part, I always deal with the sellers who are not pro because the pro sellers can be pricey, but their work is amazing, but they can be pricey. So when I'm using Fiverr, I stick to some key tips to help me to find the best talent. So the first thing I do is I make a list of exactly what I'm looking for, meaning whether I need someone to help me with a graphic design project or I need someone to edit a video or whatever it may be, create a packaging design, I put that down first. So once I have my list and I'm on Fiverr, I can go through and do the search function to find exactly just those specific people that specialize in that. And what I will do is I will insert a screencast that I did where I'm going to walk you through exactly how I use Fiverr. So be sure to stay for the entire video so you can see that process. After I figure out what services I need, then I move on to having a list of requirements. When you're on Fiverr, um, you the best thing to do is to be very specific so it weeds out people who don't match or can't perform the specific job description that you have. So you do want to make a list of requirements. And when I say requirements, meaning if you want the seller to have six months of experience or you only want a person who's dealt within the beauty industry, make sure you have your list of requirements along with whatever type of service you need written down so it's easier for you to put it in your post. So after you've done those two things, the next thing is to write a post. So when I say write a post, and like I said, I will put a screencast recording of how I use Fiverr so you can see that. Um, but in the post, you want to put what you're looking for, and then you want to put your requirements. So that's why I say it's good for you to jot it down so you're not just aimlessly wandering on there. So when you write the post, be as specific as you can be according to what you have written down or jotted down. And then also if you have any files, I'm not sure how many you can attach, but you can attach files to that as well. So if you have any samples or examples, then feel free to put them with that post as well. As far as the word count, I think it goes, it's at least 2,000 words or something like that but it'll tell you in the description box exactly what you can and cannot put you can't put any like information um, they're real strict on I believe it's like your email address or things outside of the norm of the spectrum of Fiverr and they do that for security issues so they can try to avoid scamming on Fiverr so if you do anything or violate that policy it will give you a nice little error message but you want to write a clear and concise post with all of your requirements now that you've written your post the next thing that will happen is you're after you post it generally within the 24 hour 
time frame because I do believe they have a review process. So once you write your post, you post it up, then Fiverr will approve that. And once they approve that, then the sellers will start to um, reach out to you with um, what they offer as far as a service. So what you want to do is I've gotten as many as close to 50 or 60 requests at a time for a specific service. You want to go through and weed those out and narrow it down to I would do no more than three because once you get over three it just gets really really like um, like overwhelming so I would try to narrow it down to two or three sellers according to your post and then just pick from them now once you pick your sellers before you pay them you do want to contact them reach out to them make sure they understand and everybody's on the same page about what you're looking for so before you pay them and I always use PayPal um, before you pay them you do want to reach out to them and make sure they can fulfill the um, requirements that you have you want to also make sure before you pay them you would get some type of revisions you really don't want to deal with the seller that doesn't allow revisions because you're taking a real gamble by doing that so you want to make sure you have revisions or they offer revisions I myself generally go for the sellers that have unlimited revisions because that just works for me but if they have like two or three then I'm fine depending on what type of job it is so you want to make sure that they offer revisions you got all your questions out everybody's on the same page and then you you would proceed to paying them for their services so now that I've given you all the tips that I use to find amazing talent on Fiverr, right now we're going to take a look at the screencast recording that I took so you can see exactly what Fiverr looks like and when you go to get your talent then you will be familiar with it. So when I use Fiverr and this is what the screen looks like, so in Fiverr you can look for different things for your business like if you need a logo you can find a logo if you need graphic art pretty much anything you could think of business related that you may need to save you time you can find on Fiverr so what I try to do is like I said I try to have a list of qualifications or things that I'm looking for so when I go to post it, then it's easier and that will be um, an easier process for me to narrow down exactly who I'm looking for. Now they do have it where you can get pro sellers. I will caution you, the pro sellers are or can be expensive. So if you're on a budget, you maybe don't want to look at that. But like here, I did um, logo. So for the logo, you have your different categories um, as far as logo is this is concerned and then you have your logo options here and then you, you can filter out exactly what you're looking for and then when you go here it will tell you seller details when I'm in the seller details I generally stick to like a level 2 or a top rated for all the gigs that I buy I generally do that and then I always well I'm in the United States so I always pick English and then you can filter out by your budget um, I think the most I've spent on Fiverr total like for one gig may have been like 25 30 bucks but it's pretty reasonable so for your logo I would stay somewhere between the 10 to 25 dollar range but it's your budget so you can just set that here and then you have your delivery time um, I'll usually use Express if I'm like doing something like photo editing or something like that but for the most part I'll take the one that says up to three days and then um, that's your filtering um, like I said the pro services are here those pro services can be kind of expensive so just know that and then you have your local sellers from your country um, I, that part doesn't really matter to me as long as they do a good job I'm not really um, a stickler on if they're from the US or not unless it's like ads then I am kind of a stickler for that and then you have people online sellers you can click this if you're in a hurry then you can see exactly what online sellers are online right now because there'll be a little green button so I'll go ahead and I'll log into 
my Fiverr account and you can kind of see what the screen looks like. So this is my screen here. So you, like I said, you can choose Fiverr Pro. You can explore messages where you can communicate with, um, between the sellers that you pick. And then you'll have your list of orders. And then if you want to become a seller, you can switch to a seller as well. So like I said, when you go in, um, what you want to do is if you want to put in a request to get different people to bid for a project that you have, you kind of excuse me, I have to like maneuver through this. So you would click on your little picture here and then it will come up and then you'll put in post a request. So you go to post a request, you click on that and then when it comes up, it'll say what services are you looking for. So here is where you want to put in what your requirements are. Usually I just, you know, just put some down on paper so I know what I'm looking for. So you want to put all that in here. You want to be as detailed as possible. So when people are um, like responding to your requests, you kind of filter them out. If you have any files, you can attach them here and then you can go here and you can select the categories that they have that you um, would need and then there's also like subcategories like for instance if you click on graphics and design you can see logo design brand style guides game art etc etc so you can see all those and then next you want to click on um, it says once you place your order when would you like the service delivered? Like I said, I generally stick to three days. That's pretty much enough time for me. And then you put your budget in. Be realistic with your budget. You know, that way you only get people who meet these qualifications. The more specific that you are in this screen, then it'll be real easy for the right people to respond to your request. And like I said, they have a lot of different things for Fiverr that can help you to grow your business. And I will put a link to it in the description box. So click on that so you can get started on making your business amazing. So I hope that screencast recording was helpful to you. Like I said, Fiverr, you can find some amazing talent on there just as long as you follow those tips. I can't recall a time that I haven't um, like been pleased or gotten the exact requirements that I have for the service. Now, maybe I didn't like it and we had to go back and do revisions, but for the most part, um, they've helped me out tremendously with packaging design, logos, graphics, things like that. So I would definitely recommend Fiverr. And if you are considering using Fiverr for any type of service for your business, I will leave a link, an affiliate link in the description box. Click on that. So if they are running any type of specials or maybe a percentage off, or if you just want to support me because I am an affiliate with Fiverr, go ahead and click that link in the, in the description box so you can get started on the services you need for your business. With this video, I have included a digital download for you. So in the digital download, it's like a planner. So it's like a couple of pages and you can use that to um, kind of pinpoint exactly what type of service you need for Fiverr. It will help you when you get ready to write your post and it coincides with this video perfectly. So look for the link in the description box for the digital download to go with this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And once again, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell for notifications on this channel, Beautopedia. I do talk about things in regards to beauty, business, and motivation. And you can learn from me all my wins and my losses. You won't make those mistakes. So make sure you subscribe and also hit the like button and the bell so you can get alerts. Have a great day, guys. Bye.